Welcome back to The Pulse from the heart of GTA 44, your source of news from EVE Online. The new EVE Online Viridian expansion is now live. As one of the two major expansions in 2023, Viridian introduces new tools for capsuleers to manage their corporations and set goals, personalize upwell structures, engage in unique combat strategies with new Lancer Dreadnoughts and more. A major step forward in enhancing the corporation experience for both leaders and members is the introduction of corporation projects. This is a tool that enables leaders of corporations to create new projects that become visible to every member, allowing large and small corps to be managed more easily. Corporation projects enable player corps to set goals for their members to contribute to, as well as the means to monitor member progress against those goals without having to leave the game. Project types will include dealing damage to other capsuleers, mining, delivering an item, killing NPCs and more. Corporation projects created by a player's organization will be displayed to them via the new Air Opportunities interface. Here, players can find activities relevant to their day-to-day -day gameplay as it will present and track content that they are participating in. Air Opportunities reduces the need for new players to check in various locations for things to do today. The Air Opportunities portal is also populated with brand new activities called Homefront Operations. These sites bring new and experienced capsules together to do new activities, helping to establish social connections and introduce fleet gameplay. Homefront operations offer a perfect opportunity for novice pilots to practice their combat, logistics and hacking skills in a PvE environment while cooperating with others and getting good rewards. Homefront operations currently consist of six types of adventure, optimized for about four to five players and take about 15 minutes to complete per site. Also making their debut in New Eden as part of Viridian are the Lancer Dreadnoughts. These Tech 2 Dreads will play a unique role in the capital ship landscape, with their specialized disruptive lance weapons capable of temporarily preventing a target from warping, tethering, or using their jump drive, while also causing a 50% reduction in remote repair received. The Amar Bane uses missiles as its primary weapon system, and the Kaldari Karura uses hybrid turrets, uncommon for capital ships from those respective empires. Player corporations can now personalize their upwell structures to better express their corp identity in the universe. A new in-game tool, the Super Kerr Induced Nanocoating Resequencer, or Skinner, allows corporations to carry out this customization with over 90 nanocoatings to choose from. To use Skinner, each corporation will have to assign a new brand manager role to hold the keys to the visual identity of their corporation. The Viridian expansion has delivered a host of visual updates. As part of that package, improved volumetric clouds bring further immersion and beauty into the gameplay space. There are multiple cloud variations that can currently be found and enjoyed in Homefront Operations sites. Further to that, 68 Empire frigates have had their visual effects improved, including the addition of lights and effects that change depending on the state of the ship. The appearance of some hulls will change completely when they go into warp, with some changing color significantly. Many of the effects are tied to ship speed, with effects getting stronger as speed increases. The formidable Marauders are also getting a visual update. The ships now look more aggressive and powerful when their Bastion module is engaged, making it clearer to others in space when it is activated. In addition, missile impact visuals have been enhanced so that each missile explosion archetype is distinct, making it clear by sight what type of damage the missile is applying to its target. Depending on angle of attack at impact, the explosions are now visually directional, adding realism as well as breathtaking effects. Corporations are now able to receive income from loyalty points, further enhancing the experience of managing and being in a corp. The rate set by the corp for the percentage of ISK it receives from members' earnings will now also be applicable to all activities generating LP. This will be another source of revenue for corporations, as the LP can be exchanged for items in LP stores, and those items can then be traded for ISK. Additionally, LP trading between corporations will be enabled, and this will also act as part of the long-term plan of facilitating more of a free and streamlined economy. Changes have been made to brokers' fees and industry job fees that will create a more equitable environment for industrialists. These changes give more ISK to facility owners and give them more agency to leverage their citadel as an income source as a means to stay competitive. Similar changes to industry job installation fees give facility owners the ability to earn more income from their structures, especially those located in low index systems. Speaking of facility owners, a new restriction has been added preventing the placement of new extra-large upwell structures such as the Keepstar and the Sotio in HiSec. 
Excel structures currently in space will not be affected, but if they perish, they cannot be replaced. Viridian also sees a number of ships receive a balance pass. Marauders, specifically the Kronos, Varga, and Paladin, will see some changes to slot layout, HP, and bonuses, depending on the ship. Meanwhile, the Maelstrom and Rock have received some love in this release, and large railguns have gotten a generous increase to both rates of fire and tracking speed. Further celebrating the Viridian expansion, daily challenges have been revamped and reinvigorated. Tackle three ambitious tasks every day, such as mining valuable ore, annihilating NPCs, or hunting elusive drones in abyssal dead space to claim rewards such as skill points and evermarks. In a further update to the progress of the empires in the Shadow War event, the Amar Empire has reached 100% in their understanding of stellar transmuter mechanics and have constructed their interstellar shipcaster. Thanks to these efforts, Amar forces have online their shipcaster in their factional warfare capital system of Mehatur, powered by a new stellar transmuter in Ohide. Capsuleers committed to the Minmatar and Galenti are again advised to accelerate their efforts in the Shadow War to close the gap to the Kaldari and Amar. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of EVE Online, a generously packed collector's edition will be coming soon. Each box will be numbered and will contain exclusive EVE memorabilia. This will be a limited run, so make sure you secure your copy when pre-orders open on the 7th of July via Limited Run Games. You can enhance your EVE Online experience with the upcoming free add-in for Microsoft Excel, which will be available in the Microsoft Store on the 20th of June. We would like to extend our warmest thanks to all the beta testers who provided invaluable feedback during the development of this add-in. Accessing in-game data effortlessly and seamlessly integrating with Excel, you can import your in-game data across all accounts and characters, as well as your corporation data directly into Excel using the EVE API. After a long hiatus, we are once again accepting submissions for player-created billboards to be featured in-game. Visible in every station in New Eden, this is a great way to promote your corp, alliance, EVA-related service, or public in-game event. The first batch of new advertisements is in-game now, so check the description below for details on requirements and submissions. Accompanying the release of Viridian, there are a number of offers available on Omega and Plex. In the New Eden store, you can grab seven days of Omega free until the 20th of June, as well as getting 20% off all Omega packages until the 19th of June. In the East store, you can get 15% off select Plex packages, also until the 19th. That's all for this episode of The Pulse. Thanks again for joining us. Check the description below for more information on the stories that we've covered, especially the Viridian in Focus series of articles and videos, then hit subscribe and the bell icon to stay notified when we post new content. Enjoy Viridian and see you next time.